Hey folks, so today I'm doing a video of how I make up to 20.7 billion uh, on average per hour. Now the reason I say up to is because 16 billion worth is purely like fail stacking slash enhancing for profit. So that can vary. You can make like nothing there or you can make up to 16. On average, it's between 8 and 16 billion, depending on the market, depending on if my pre-orders come through. Uh, so I'm just going to go through this, uh, what I do for a week, basically. So first thing is I do AFK fishing. So let's say I get up on the morning before work, uh, I'll go sell the fish if I have time. If I don't have time before work, because this is a case of I do work 40 hours a week, uh, I'll just do it when I get home uh, on the, the end of my shift. So I can sell my fish from AFK fishing. Uh, so today I didn't really earn that much, but it's because I checked it um, basically on my lunch hour I came back because uh, I can do that um, and I just sold some of the fish uh, just so that I could basically, because I, I hadn't played over the weekend basically, so I'd been sat there, well my character had been stood there doing nothing. Uh, so I just made a quick like 30 million there, I don't really count that. The reason I do the AFK fishing isn't for the money, it's actually for the discarded glass bottles because they give me extra CP. So it's AFK EXP towards CP. Uh, so I always try and leave five. Um, so hang on, it'd be 14, sorry. So then I've got five for getting another fishing chair. Uh, and that just gives me a bit of XP. The next activity I do, which I try and fit in before and after work is tending to my farms. So basically that's another one that I do for CP, so I don't really take into account the money that I earn. These are just about to be ready to harvest, um, but basically for this you're going after the blush leaves, because the blush leaves give you a, again, a contribution XP. Now the reason that this contribution XP is so important, I'm at 449, so I'm about to hit 450. This is for my daily hand in of Imperial cooking. We'll get into that in a moment. I just want to do this in sections. So that's the two things that I do for CP. Now, the next thing I do is my weeklies for making money. Now, I'm going to quickly jump over onto my season character to show this off because the first weekly that I do is the season weekly, kill 500 enemies, really quick to do. And basically it just helps get the um, Valk's Cry a bit cheaper rather than especially with being on EU so I can't just buy uh, outfits and turn them into Kron's stones or Valk's Cry reliably uh, you can be sat there for a pre-order for ages so basically what you do is you go into the suggested tab once you have level 56 uh, sorry recurring tab once you hit a level 56 character on the season server I always have a season character for this because it's kill 500 enemies at one of these 22 locations uh, and you get 600 time filled blackstone. So you also get a uh, rift echo, but it's not really worth bothering with the rift echo. I mean, you can if you want, but as I said, not necessary. Uh, but basically, what you do is once you've completed that, you go here, exchange. So I managed to get 145 extra for doing it last week. Uh, just like I think that's quite high, actually. I'm surprised I got that many. Uh, but then I just changed them into Valk's Cry. You can do item collection increase scrolls if you want, if you're low on them. Uh, I wouldn't advise making any of the advice of Valk's from these. It's way too expensive. So Valk's Cry is definitely a great option. So you get 15 to... I got 18 this time. So that's almost enough for two fail stacks, uh, which it basically it's just a quick help, really quickly done. And then the next weekly that I do, I'm going to change over to my... Uh, character set in Heidel. Uh, I was just double checking because there's two in Heidel. Uh, that one was in Velia, but uh, so it's the weekly dough quest. Now that's to make cheap manos accessories, so so I can either sell them at base or if it's profitable, enhance them up to duo to sell them at duo because usually duo is the most profitable one to enhance to. Uh, now that the reason that I do that is because it's extra cash yes you you only get like the um i've got the quest accepted already the lara is truly great uh discovery and bread but basically the reward that you get from it is the scots fragments you choose them you get seven one week and you get seven small 
small four leaf clovers. Once you've got 14 of the small leaf clovers, uh, you'll get another quest off Lara here in Heidel. Uh, and it'll basically be small fortunes, big rewards or something like that. And that'll give you an extra three. And then once you've completed that quest, if you talk to her again and check her quests, she'll have a daily quest to give you another three. However, that daily quest does, will not come back until you do it again in two weeks. So I don't know why it's listed as a daily because you can only do it once every two weeks. But still, that'll give you the 20 uh, Scotch Fragments for making two accessories. So you still have to buy the other resources to make them, but it works out cheaper still. Then the last weekly that I do, uh, I'll just claim it here, is I do my Boss Blitz and my uh, Dark Rifts. Now, these don't really give you any great rewards, but it takes like half an hour to do each. I mean, technically the rifts are quicker than that um i cheered i got a crystal of harmony i don't see that as any value to be honest so that's a false cheer but you get some memory fragments you get some sealed black magic crystals and you also get these coins which you can obviously trade in to get some things uh, so it's not exactly a total waste oh nice i got crystal of darkness crystal decimation Again, I don't really value these as anything, so it's, again, a false chair, but it's nice to get these items uh, in case you do want to use them for whatever they're meant to be used for. Um, and then the next thing that I do, that's it for weeklies anyway. Uh, the next thing that I do is my Pit of Undying on a day-to-day -day basis uh, to get Cron Stones, but you can do it for Mass Pure Magic for doing Black Star Enhancing, which isn't profitable at the moment, but still it's an option. Uh, and you can also get Crow Coins from it. And there's a few other things, but I get cronstones with being on EU. It's a nice way to get cronstones daily. Um, and the Pit of Undying, you do need to do a quest line. You need to go to, um, I want to call it Killer's Eye, but it's not. It's Crow's Nest. Um, I've just lost my mouse. So basically, you go from here all the way up to here. There's a quest line that you can follow. I've already done it, so I can't really show it off. It's but I'm pretty sure it's called Pit of Undying for the quest line. But I'm pretty sure anyway, and I've just said pretty sure a few times, if you do go into the adventure, then Pit of Undying, I'm pretty sure you can just search it if it doesn't come up here. I thought it was on adventure. I haven't done it in a little while just because of the way it works. Uh, but anyway, if you type in Pit of... And it's in War. So the Pit of Undying, it should let you do the quest if you do that anyway. The next thing, whilst I'm here, is the Imperial Delivery. Now, you want to go to Liana, wherever you do your Imperial Deliveries, and do take the daily cooking before you hand them in, and then don't accidentally open the shop. And then you go over to the Imperial Delivery person. The reason I do it here is they're literally straight across from each other. And then the amount that you can hand in is half your CP. So this is why I was saying about the CP beforehand. Uh, so I can just click to sell all. I'm going to make... 197 million uh, that's not accurate because I've got too many uh, so it goes from 715 to 967 so about 150 million and then always go back across chat I delivered them and then you basically just get a few bonuses like some extra XP if that only matters if you're not already guru 50 you can get some pepper hot pepper, garlic, or onion, and you get an advanced repair tool, and then you get to choose between eggs and milk. I always take the milk. Uh, and there's a useful tool for this, and that useful tool is Bediolytics. So if you come to Bediolytics, make sure it's on the correct region for you. Life skill, cooking, imperial cooking, and this will let you set the uh, value. Uh, value. This here is your life skilling uh, mastery so you set that and then it'll tell you how much money you make per box if you were just to buy it which is what I do uh, also if you click you can see how you make it but or if you were to make it yourself you can see the profit and it tells you how many are in stock on your server and how much they cost so if it's at this value you will make this much if it's below you'll make a bit more that's what I usually do so I shop around so let's say it's this one most people are going to buy this one because it's the cheapest but that means the price will be above but if I look at like Medaya meal that might be below or at that price. So that's the amount that I'm actually getting. 
Uh, sometimes I have to go like all the way down to Belos Nosmail, so it's making less, but because it's cheaper, it's actually making nearer to these values. So that's just a tip. Uh, basically, go check out your Imperial Cooking. It will really help uh, get some cash in. From that, I make about 700 million per day. Uh, sorry, 112 million per day, 700 million per week, because uh, I can put in two 224 boxes, soon to be 225. Um, so then... The next thing that I do, I don't do this every day, I do it about five days a week, is I grind uh, for an hour at Paddocks. The reason I'm doing that at Paddocks is because I want the ring piece. Uh, obviously go to the best spot for you. Uh, for me, I get an average of 778 million per hour at Paddocks. So that means uh, basically I'm making about uh, 4 billion if I do five hours there, uh, just shy of four billion. Uh, and then the last thing on my list of things that I do is an hour of fail stacking. I usually do that like uh, four days a week. But what I do is it's not exactly an hour of fail stacking. So what I do is I try to make three tet stacks uh, when I enhance in my free time. So basically what I do is I get home, I try and make three 110 stacks. I currently don't have any. Uh, well, I have one. Uh, and then once I've got my three 110 stacks, I'll go, okay, can, do I still have an hour where I can go grind? Or I'll start an hour of grinding. Sometimes I'll finish the hour of the grinding the next day. Um, and then one thing with the enhancing. So each 110 stack can be worth between 700 million to 1.5 billion uh, profit. The 1.5 billion is on certain items if you catch the market at the right time. Um, now... Some tips and tricks here is, first things first, use my Enhancement Profit Calculator. I mean, why wouldn't you? It's a great tool. Uh, obviously, this isn't the end-all, be-all. There is other things that you can look at doing uh, uh, and like learn some of the stuff yourself. So then, uh, with this, it's a case of it's been simplified, much easier to use now. Uh, also, I've put in my own profit sheet, so set your region there, and then you're basically good to go once it repopulates. It does take a little while to repopulate, but it's a bit faster now because I've made a change to it. Um, it only has to do one call rather than a call for every single item. Um, so the th reason that I'm saying it's up to 20 billion is because of this, because some weeks you may not even make one tet. It's very rare, but you may not even make one tet, so I don't put any profit there because you still have the stacks means you've not made the loss basically it depends on how many pre-orders come through because that's one of the biggest things right um you need to basically keep getting the items if not enough doesn't come through you can't make a tech because you didn't get the items if the items don't sell you can't make a tech because you didn't sell them to make the money i've still got an eye of the ruins ring waiting to sell uh and i'm gonna stream later today because this is recorded on monday uh, so it doesn't always sell within like four days since my last stream. Uh, so I won't be able to reinvest that money. But as you can see, since my last stream, the only one that I've really got, because Basilisks are, I'm waiting on prize because it's not cheap. It's cheaper to buy the prize than make them. Uh, the only one that I can really do is the Eye of Ruins at the moment. Um, so that is pretty much everything that I need to cover. Um, and that's how I personally make up to 20 billion per week. Uh, there is one last tip that I have actually. Uh, it's really nice to use. So there is an app called Black Desert Plus. Uh, it's an official app. It lets you view your central market. It's a great thing to use for doing pre-orders from the workplace, like say on your break, on your lunch, or if you're a work in a workplace where you're allowed to use your phone at work, obviously don't do it all the time. Just every so often, just check your central market, redo your pre-orders, collect money from the things that sold. It just makes it easier. It's, it's one of the reasons why I get to enhance for profit so much because I can redo my pre-orders at work. So that's everything. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And also memberships are there if you want to support me uh, basically with money. Uh, I won't advise you to do that. I'm just saying that they are there. So thank you for watching. Have a nice week. And I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.